All right, Saturday morning, Greg Wagner, Public Information Officer at Nebraska and Parks. He's excited about these morale mushrooms. But we have a problem, Greg. We have a problem. We have a problem. We're not getting enough moisture for these babies. That's right. We need moisture, John. We need continued warmth yeah. as well. Okay. So what exactly do we need for these morel mushrooms to pop up in river bottom woodlands? We need moisture. We need a mm. long soaking rain. I want a good two inch rain okay. spanned out over a day or I'll take successive rains. We get above two inches. That would be wonderful yeah. for subsoil moisture. And then we need continued warmth. Mm. We need daytime highs to stay in the mid 60s or above, and nighttime lows not to dip below the low 40s. So we got, so we got Woo. some, we got some issues right now. Because if you're ready yes. to get out there and start hunting, you're not yeah. going to find anything, really, are you? Yeah, no one's found anything okay. as of yet. And stay tuned. And I would probably start checking your spots depending on moisture content mm -hmm. and everything else. Maybe the latter part of this weekend, the first part of okay. next week, a bit early. People ask me, John, how far into May can we yeah. find these or not find these? Yeah. And you get to about May 15th or 16th, that's the cutoff date. Wow, so okay. just beyond Mother's Day. So, yeah, so we're kind of running out of time. So why is this such a big deal? I remember when I moved to Nebraska, people were talking about it. Why is this such a big deal? These are one of the delicacies of nature yeah. that you can forage for and harvest. They have this peanutty, meaty flavor to yeah. them unlike anything else. And uh, it is a scavenger hunt like no other. And I'm telling you, they are so good. Eggs enhance their flavor. Put them on a good uh, ribeye, John. You're there, aren't you? You're there. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, I, I do like these. I've never gone hunting, but I have, I have reaped the mm -hmm. benefit of the harvest. Oh, look at that. But and people have their spot. And, and people are very secretive about their spots. Right, very secretive about their spots. And I'll tell you, the big thing with morel mushroom hunting in Nebraska, get permission from mm -hmm. the landowner before you go on to any property. You know, we're issuing a lot of trespass tickets and really? such. Yes, okay. you've got to get permission from that landowner before treading on their property. Let's point out too that Game and Parks Commission lands are open to morel mushroom mm -hmm. hunting. State parks, don't forget your park permit, wildlife management areas, be careful, watch out for turkey hunters. Okay, there you go. Want to know more about all that's going on? You can find more information at OutdoorNebraska.org. Greg Wagner, Nebraska Parks. Thanks as always for coming in and get out there and start hunting for mushrooms. Happy morelling.